In this video, we will learn how to find the returns to scale from the given production function. We have a question like this. Consider a production function q is equal to 5 times l to the power 0.5 times k to the power 0.3. q is the output, l denotes the units of labor and k denotes the units of capital. We have to find out whether this production function reflects increasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale, constant returns to scale or none of them. Okay. So what we are being given? We are being given a simple Cobb double production function like that Q which is output is a function of that is 5 times labor raised power 0.5 K to the power 0.3. Okay. So first we will uh, explain it. Then I will give you a shortcut ex uh, you know formula to find out the return to scale okay so if this is our production function what will we do let us increase labor and capital by factor let us say lambda okay uh, let me write it here so increasing uh, increasing labor and capital by lambda in this uh, um, function okay so let's write it in this fashion that is q is a function of labor and capital okay if i increase labor and capital by lambda then our new production function q dash will be equal to f of so in place of l we have lambda l in place of k we have lambda k because we are increasing both labor and capital by same factor that's lambda so our new production function will be for you so in place of l we have lambda l lambda l raised power 0.5 times in place of k we have lambda k so we have lambda k raised power 0.5 okay now solving this out so we can write it in this fashion so we have 5 so this will become lambda raised power 0.5 if i expand it and we have l to the power 0.5 symmetrically here we will have lambda raised power 0.3 sorry it is here 0.3 okay so k times raised power 0.3 okay further manipulation will give us we have 5 so lambda raised power 0.5 lambda raised power 0.3 since bases are same we can add up the exponent so i can write lambda raised power 0.5 plus 0.3 okay then we have l to the power 0.5 times k to the power 0.3 and this will become so 0.5 plus 0.3 is 0.8 so i can write it in this fashion uh, lambda raised power 0.8 5 times l to the power 0.5 times k to the power 0.3 okay and here, here you can see this is our original production function so we have and let me write it here we have lambda raised power 0.8 in place of this i can write back again the original uh, you know this is equal to q so in this place i can write q okay here you can see one thing this is our ordinal production function now q dash here is equal to q dash is equal to lambda raised power 0.8 times q okay when labor and capital were increased by a factor lambda our new production function increases by lambda raised power 0.8 which is less than a one here okay so we can see when we have increased l and k by lambda our production function is increased by less than lambda here okay we have lambda raised power 0.8 that means this will exhibit a decreasing returns to scale okay so if it was here lambda raised power let us say 1.5 that means our production function would have given us 
the increasing returns to scale because it is less than one here okay then it will uh, you know imply the given production function exhibits decreasing returns to scale okay so it depends upon this this exponent if it is greater than one then we will have increasing returns to scale okay if it is less than one it will reflect decreasing returns to scale if it is equal to one then it will give us constant returns to scale another thing is the shortcut that i promised is that if we are being given the cobb douglas production function to find out whether it exhibits increasing returns to scale or, or decreasing returns to scale we simply see the exponents of the factors okay if the sum of exponents of factors is greater than one okay let us say this is let's write it in the standard fashion let us say we have q is equal to uh, a k to the power alpha l to the power beta alpha and beta are the output elasticities of capital and labor if if alpha plus beta is equal to one so we will have constant returns to scale if alpha plus beta is less than one we will have decreasing returns to scale if alpha plus beta is greater than one we will have increasing returns to scale okay so in place of alpha we have this is our alpha this is our beta here you can see we have 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 which is 0 0.8 which is less than one so it will uh, exhibit decreasing returns to scale i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you